starts at 5.15. Hi, I would like to welcome everyone to the park board. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting to any media. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived by those present, and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Roll call of the commissioners, please. Catherine Cohen. Robert Tavares. Vic Tavares. Helen Rigo. Marjorie Yitkin. We have a motion to accept the minutes of the previous meeting, May motion. 7th. I'll second it. There's been a motion seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Ayes have it. Citizen input. Please note you have three minutes. First one is Bruce Ballrich. Six, it's going to take me three minutes to get down here. <laughs> well, we can relate we'll to that. Me too. <laughs> three minutes, what's me too. <laughs> Don't you I know? have three of these that you can share. Thank you. I was uh, instrumental in getting the Gold Star Families Memorial here in Fall River. Could you just please um, state your name? You can have a seat. Oh, okay. Please state your name and address, please. Right. Thank you. My name is Bruce Aldridge. Uh, I'm the president of the Gold Star Families Memorial Committee, mm -hmm. and Lisa Rodericks, the uh, financial secretary, is also here with me. Your address, please. 649 Almy Road, Somerset. Okay. Okay. Need a motion? Motion to wait the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Well, we constructed the monument about three, four years, three years ago, and we have quite a bit of money left over. And uh, rather than just sitting in the, an account, I came up with the idea of recognizing all the military personnel in Bristol County who have been killed since Desert Storm, Iraq, and Afghanistan, Gulf War. There's so many of them, they have a name here on a plaque or a playground over here or a post office. This monument will list every single one of them in one place. So we would like permission to go ahead and do that. Uh, on the first page, you'll see what the monument would look like. It's gonna be a little V-shape and the heights of it. Uh, on the second page, you'll see the two pictures that will go on there where the battlefield cross will go under freedom is not free and a picture of Jared Monty, who was a Medal of Honor recipient. That will be on that side. On the second side, you'll see it will say Gulf War, Desert Storm, Iraq and Afghanistan, and we'll list the names on the, on the other side. And right now we have chronalized the names from Desert Storm right down to Leo Iman, I mean Eric Iman, who just got killed. And there are a few more names I was just going over with Lisa. There are a couple more names that I miss. So, but that's basically what we'd like to do. And then the last page, you will see a picture of Bicentennial Park and the walkway where you have the Gold Star families, the Korean War, and then there's a triangle of grass right there. I'd like to put it right in that triangle where the grass is, and then that will be a walkways all the way around it. Thank you very much. No, we don't talk about it. Well, it's on the agenda. Thank you, Mr. O. Thank you. Okay. Um, next is Lenny Tavares. And I apologize. I don't know. No, you said it. You said it correctly. Good evening. Good evening. Could you state your name and address, please? My name is Lenny Tavares. I live on 29 Mockingbird Lane, Tiverton, Rhode Island, uh, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Fall River Korean Monument. Okay. Motion to the Motion to wait. Second. Second. Okay. Second. Yeah, All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Ayes have it. Go ahead, sir. All right. We are, uh, what we'll ask in the Park Committee for is, uh, on Saturday, July 20th of 2019 at 1 p.m., we would like to have the dedication 
ceremonies for the Korean Monument. This is the insulation of the, the, the bricks will be in, the walkways around the, uh, the monument will be in. It's the second half, right? It's, yes, yeah, the second phase of uh, what we did. Also, we'd like to ask for permission. Uh, we're thinking of preparing hot dogs and hamburgers to feed our guests, which we figure will be between 200 to 250 people. And we'll also be serving potato chips, watermelon, and a bottle of water. Um, if this is approved by, by the Park Commission, we will be responsible for getting the required permits from the city of Fall River and the Fall River Veterans Council wishes to invite the Park Board to this dedication. Um, Wait, you can't. Nancy, this is on the agenda, right? No, it's not. No. Okay, so then we can't uh, hold it. When he called me and said it was July 10th, I wanted him to. 20th. Just, uh, 20th. 20th. I'm sorry. I wanted him to come to the meeting because the Park Board meeting, the next meeting is July, would be July 3rd, which I doubt they will have. I believe we moved that meeting to the 10th. We did. That's where the 10th comes from. So if he's looking to do this event on the 20th, the 10th only gives 10 days for this board to be made aware of what was happening. So I advised Mr. Tavares to come in and at least make the board aware of it so that he would know um, if there was an issue. Um, and he definitely has to send in a written request um, and explain, you know, is he going to have tents? Is he going to have whatever? And he just said something about grilling, which you know, that requires inspections right. by the fire department or the rental of, of grills from, uh, like, um, I think people rent them from Wilkinson's or Correct, like correct. That. So, Does he know we, we, got to get insurance, though. He doesn't know that particular information. Uh, I know we're getting two 20 by 30 tents. Fire department. That we, which yeah. we will be renting. The fire department needs to inspect yep. those. Okay. So it's a little more complicated. So yeah. I didn't want him to come into the July 10th meeting hoping that he could do this event on July 20th. There's a lot of footwork that needs to be done behind. Right. You'll have to work with Nancy. Yeah. So I didn't know what the board was going to do. Well, it's not on the agenda, so we can't really discuss it. Right. But it, I'm so. saying as far as the 10th and the 20th, maybe ask, I even, I asked if it would be able to be move to a different date, which would allow him to be able to come to the board with the proper documentation on the 10th and be able to have a little bit more leeway. But I, he said he would speak to those individuals and maybe when he sends in the official request, if there is something that they are agreeable to move it a couple of weeks because at least to the beginning of August so that you can present to the board in July okay. and be able to get their, their permission in July and you would have three to four weeks to get your stuff together for August. Because okay. I'm going to be honest with you, there's something, I can't remember the exact date, I'd have to look it up, but that motorcycle run, there's a motorcycle run there on a Sunday that stops at Bicentennial yeah. Park and it may very well be that date. I'd have to look. <laughs> well, you could check and see. So if, check with me, yep. Lenny. Yeah. You have my phone number. Yep. Okay. And we also will be renting uh, four uh, porta johns that day for the public's use. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Tori, is it? I can't see. All right. What is your last name? Hi, Tori Adams, 122 Adams. Lake Avenue, Fall River. Thank you, Tori. Um, is this is to um, from the Fall River uh, Street Tree Planting Program to request to, to plant two trees, um, one in North Park, um, and I did get the, the location and dig safe um, okay. To I don't I don't know if everybody has has that one. I brought one copy, but yeah. yeah and then the second one. Um, these are both memorial trees for uh, parents of our members who have died. The second one, and, and Chris Perano, because I discussed it with him, prepared a very good um, 
location of that one. That one's an Oak Grove Cemetery. So is that the 60-foot one? Uh, the bigger one is an Oak Grove Cemetery. That's the um, the the hickory tree. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Meg Rogers. I'm Meg Rogers from the United Way of Greater Fall River. We're at 30 Bedford Street. Any I'm Rogers? 15 Oak Street, New Bedford, Mass. I'll make the rules second and second it. So I'm here today. Um, we're actually on your list. Um, United Way Worldwide does a day of action. Um, and we were hoping this year to do a park cleanup effort at your discretion where um, to help prepare the parks for the summer lunches in the parks program. That's also on today's agenda. Um, we're going to be working with Greater Fall River Recreation and Partners for a Healthier Community to be doing um, the lunches and also this year including literacy and social emotional games um, for the students that attend the summer lunch programs in the park. So we thought winter lasted forever this year if we could be a little bit of assistance with some volunteer manpower um, to help clean up some spaces um, that might take a little bit of burden off the city. Okay. Great. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The last one, last but not least, I believe it's Sean um, Travis. Travis. <laughs> it's you, Sean. <laughs> uh, Sean, even if you know Travis. Okay. And Jason. Jason. Yes. Good afternoon, uh, Park Commissioners. Uh, Nancy, uh, Director of Parks. Uh, Sean Travis, 218 Horizon Way. Uh, here representing uh, as a board of director of uh, Maplewood Independent Youth Baseball League, a uh, nonprofit in the city of Fall River. Um, I believe on your agenda is a uh, request for a signage on our new scoreboard. Uh, so I'm here tonight to answer any questions. I uh, put together a few exhibits so you guys can get a general idea of what it might look like. I'm going to have Jason, our uh, director of field maintenance, um, pass this along. So we have exhibit A. B, <laughs> C, what's that? She said, did I get this? Stuff? Well, I gave you mostly everything. This is just the, uh, okay. I want to make sure if there was any questions, okay. I could answer them and not have to come back. And I'm actually, I'm, the way you guys are running the meetings is excellent. Uh, just some kudos there. Very, Thank very, you. very, very professional. Good man, Jordan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right. Haven't been in a while, so, <laughs> which is a good thing, I think, sometimes, right? Yeah. We need him with us too, right? No, I'm saying if it's an inside joke, I'm not paid as well. Oh, I did that because we only have three minutes, so I asked him if he could. We won't be able to discuss this now because you're on That's the fine. agenda, yep. so we um, will get to yep. it. Though. I just want you but to have all the information, okay. so Thank that you. Way. We like that. We like all the information. Yep, exactly. Okay, so... Uh, hey, Jason, they got these the two. The picture, I, I apologize for the first so picture, but... They got but, these uh, two. Okay. They just need the pictures. Uh, yeah. 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 I can share with them. They got the two the words, yeah. Okay. So you guys have uh, Exhibit A, which is basically the, uh, the new scoreboard. B is the sign that's going to go on the front. Okay. C is the sign that's going to go on the... Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we only have A right now, Sean. Okay, I'll go back. Sorry. Okay, so wait a minute. Yep. Please. <laughs> you got it. Well, I have three minutes, so does this, this count towards well, my three I'm minutes? I'm watching. <laughs> I'm watching. I got a couple of A's, a couple of B's. B's right. going on we got you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go through it. I'll go through it again. I apologize. That's all right. They're sticky. Okay. Let's see. C is on your agenda package. C all is right. the, the two words. C, Jason. You have two I, A's. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're sticky. 
I just wanted to, so you guys could get a total visual, okay, so you know exactly what's going on. All right. A is the actual uh, new scoreboard. Yeah, I got you. Okay, everybody has A? Yeah, we have okay. A. B is the sign that's okay. going to go on the front. Okay. Uh -huh. C is the sign that will go on the back. And D shows you what the back looks like now. So, so the back of the sign is going to be this big? Correct. So, um, that's going to be the entire back? Correct. I don't yep. know about that. That might be your only problem. Well, uh, that's why I presented everything so we could discuss or you guys could discuss. Okay. But, uh, there are signs. I did some research. If you, if you go to some of the other locations in the city. What you're telling us is other people broke the law? No, I'm not saying they broke the law. I'm just saying that I did some research and there are other signs that are larger. I don't know what the criteria is for signs. Right, this, by 12. This, this okay. is, no, I'm kidding. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> if you do the entire back of this, I don't know, how big is the scoreboard? The front of the scoreboard, the front sign will be uh, no, I want to know how big is the back of the Eight scoreboard? feet by 18 eight, eight, feet. No, 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 incorrect. Uh, it is by. No, each, it's eight. Those two panels are three feet, the top one is two feet, and the length is eight feet. I'm trusting Jay. Tr Tell me, get this. It's 18 feet by 12 feet high. That's the dimensions of the scoreboard. Okay, okay. so let me just the say this. Scoreboard's only 10 feet high with the extra two we'll feet. Yeah, we'll discuss it. Yep. Yeah. How dimensions again? The height will be 12 feet, which is the total of the entire scoreboard. The width is 18 feet. That is the uh, dimension of the scoreboard. Now, what this sponsorship will do, it will basically allow us to pay for the entire scoreboard, as this company has been very uh, generous with that. Uh, Three minutes are up. I'm sorry. Done. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> You're leading down the back road. Although this, I thought, was going to be our picture, so I'm a little confused. We were going to have our picture. Um, she yes. thought it was going to say thank you to the board. Yeah, of I thought. Well, we were, uh, you can say that. Too. Take a little picture. We'll put it. We'll put it on the right there too. What, Jeff? Thank you. On what field? There you go. The Babe Ruth field. I'll explain it when yeah, we get, when we get there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody signed up. But it might not be now. Have a D. Okay. Have a D. Okay. Let's see. Take them back. Go to the D. No, These are yeah. the most important. Yeah. Yeah. ABC. Maybe right. Okay. Sean. 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 Put ABCD in a row so we can give some of those people after the meeting. Okay. 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 Not nice. Okay. Here we go. Street tree planting tree committee. We're on number four. So let's get to that, guys. Keep it moving. So the street tree planting has two requests. Actually, I think three. They're at the beginning of your agenda. Okay, so we have this is what Tori Adams came up and spoke about. And this is February nineteenth. I see this conversation being talked about and we're just getting it now. I would entertain a motion to um, send this to the Urban Tree Committee and get their response. That's why we have it. Am I correct? We have an Urban Tree Committee? Okay. I uh, make a motion to send it to the Urban Tree. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you. So are you sending both of them? Yes, send them to the urban tree so we can get a response from them and s and then we will take it from there. Yeah, I don't want to interrupt. Just got a curiosity, who in particular do you send it to? On to the, the urban tree committee. Oh, I mean, is there a name? Um, we'll send a letter. We have to do a formal letter. We'll send a letter to the committee oh. and then we can take it from there. I just there. wonder who the, the head of the committee is. Good question. 
but we have an urban tree committee yeah. to give us advice on it. I'd have to find out. She'll get it for you. Who the chair is, and then I would send it to the chair. Yeah. I don't particularly know who the individual person is. I know it's a five or six person committee. And then what we can do is once we get their recommendation, we can take it from there. Okay. Okay. New business. Well, I have, the, we have one other question from them regarding um, memorial plaques. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. So, so I guess you're going to need me to have to speak on that. Because yeah. The guideline on the memorial plaques used to be a certain size. Wait a minute, can I ask you a question? Is this for North Park? Most of them are yeah. North Park. Yes. yes. Okay. They used to be a certain size, but as usual, that certain size doesn't matter. The um, many of the trees in North Park were beginning to take on the same um, appearance as some of the plots in the Oak Grove Cemetery, with a lot of different things left around them. So I have I a question. I thought the trees were like a symbol of life. Right, and then they plant it, and that's the that's the symbol. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot of trees up there. We're having a lot of vandalism. We're having problems with it right and now. And we do have problems with people vandalizing these stones, and then people are like, "Someone damaged my stone." So I, I, I personally don't know. Maybe is there some type of a yeah some type of a, I, I almost thought of it not so much a dog tag, but something that would go around the bark. Yeah, oh, the, the, the trunk of the tree that may be able to engrave. Yeah. Almost like you know how someone has a bracelet with the person's name? Yeah. I, I because I don't think that this board mm -hmm. is going to want anything more put on the ground. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I don't think something going around the tree is a good idea, but if, I mean, yeah, the, the woman has I'm not saying it's anything flash. heavy. It would be yeah. just like a little, I'm not going to say it's going to be there when you come back, but. Um, she asked about the plaques, and it, it seemed like there was a way to, to do them that other people would do. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem is, that's fine if the rule is enforced and no one makes yeah. exceptions to the rules and people follow all the rules, and, but the, it's quite obvious from Mr. Perano's experiences in the Oak Grove Cemetery yeah. and mine as well, that rules are made to be broken. She, she would be glad, glad to follow the rules. Is that, but, but, but the problem but, is she's one person that's right. glad to follow the rules, yeah. and the next person wants the same thing, and they're not so glad to follow the rules. So, I mean, I don't want to go down this road before. I, I mean, I've been down this road before. I certainly don't want to go down it again. It is entirely up to this board, but I think mm -hmm. that... Um, they want to put memorial stones under trees. Yeah, it shouldn't be much. in the park. And not only that, then it's the the workers are going to have to be careful of it, you know. And I know that people do talk about it and do say that a tree is a symbol of life. So you may want to bring it back to, you know what I mean? Um, I entertain a motion to table. Is this to memorialize veterans or? No, it's um. The two oh, different trees, one, one in Oak Grove and one in North Park, they're, each one is for one of the tree planting programs members of one of their parents. Yes. Oh, oh I, I didn't know that. So I don't think we, when you do it for one, you got to do it for everybody. So. Are they allowed to plant them if this board, they're allowed to yeah, plant they're trees allowed. anywhere if this board gives them permission. It, the, the markers are a whole different thing. I think by I think denying the marker is not denying them the you know the right to plant the tree in the memory of their loved one. I don't think the marker is um, you know the pertinent fact that like Mossy said. Yeah. The, the tree. Yes, Jeff. Yeah, I said. I make a motion to table this so we can have further discussion. Because what I'm hearing tonight goes along with everything I've been saying for the last uh, number of months about following the rules mm -hmm. and rules being enforced. So I think this board needs to, to meet at a separate time to discuss the rules on this type of thing as we've discussed on wall fields, lights, permits, and everything else. So I'll make a motion to table mm -hmm. so we can discuss the enforcement of the rules 
And how is Paul going to approach it? I'll second that motion. So there's been a motion to table. Second, table. second by Helen. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Aye. The ayes have it. I agree, Commissioner. Thank you. Okay. We get the two agendas here. So let's go now. Mm, let's see. Okay. Now the new business. Agenda and minutes, board clerk. So, first, let me start off by thanking Nancy for everything that you do. Because not only do you attend the meetings, you, before this board, um, before I was here, I guess you could say, right? Um, you would do the agendas. Um, you type the minutes for us, you get the information that is emailed and sent to you to give to us. Um, you know, you're, you're it. And um, where I have here, um, after looking through, I see that people get um, a stipend for going to their meetings. And um, when it was discussed in ordinance, I think it was this week, correct me if I'm wrong, um, they basically want to separate you with traffic um, because they felt it was Nancy's job to do this when in fact it's not. There was a job listed that I have um, here that we had a clerk that did all this information no, for us, they, right? It, it was a proposed clerk. It was a proposed that clerk. That never came to fruition. Okay. It was put into budget, so no one wanted the clerk in the budget. It was like in a, in a reorganization of a department. Okay. And it never happened. It's a lot to absorb, okay. so right. I'm trying. Exactly. So, so it correct never me happened. if I'm wrong, please. It Thank never you. happened. And with the clerk in the department not having it in her job description, when the there was one clerk Three administrators, uh, two administrators with Mr. Kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Kitchen left and made one administrator, one clerk. Mm -hmm. Okay, which was, what was once two and two is now one and one. And the clerk does not have to take on these additional responsibilities because she is a union employee mm -hmm. without compensation. So if she did not want to take them on, the only way that this department was going to continue was for me to say, I'll do it until we straighten this all out. Well, as the service out of rank went on for 10 years for Mr. Kitchen's job, the clerical end of this has gone on for just as long. So I'm not gonna get into the into the tit for tat with the ordinance committees or with the councils or whatever. It is not in my job description. The only thing in the job description, which is Mr. Mr. Kitchen's job description, which is the job they just did last year, because the information was, didn't she just get a raise last year? It was a raise to do a $65,000 position that was vacated by Mr. Kitchen, as well as my duties that I did as his assistant. And for that, a $10,000 was given to me to do a $55,000 job. If I want to sell you something for 55 grand for 10, jump on it. That's number one. Now there's a clerical position that doesn't exist. In those job descriptions, it says as far as the department head is concerned, they will attend <coughs> meetings and represent the department. It does not say I serve as the clerk. There are other department heads that serve as clerks that receive stipends that may equal 7,000, 5,000, 4,000. I had nothing of that amount even close. But if they want to deny it, that's all well and good. But it's not mine to do. There's an old saying that says, do somebody a favor, and it becomes your job, I think that's where I'm standing right now. And so every single time it goes there, I don't need my whole life history 
to be aired out on public television. So basically, it's three I, do, I do my job, and I do other people's jobs, and I do them damn well. And anyone who wants to contest that, I have no problem going head to head with that. Well, we're grateful for that. We're grateful for you doing this, and and um, we'll have this board will have to figure out what to do because we need you. Um, obviously, uh, you do. You do it. <laughs> Exceptional. Yeah. Or so before any of us got here. Yeah. Right. So I would entertain a motion to send a letter. A motion to send a letter to the council. Second. It's done in this situation. I believe that Smith could be compensated in yes. full stipend or overtime when she's here after hours. And as a former chairman of this board, and I've been on this board a long time, yes. I know exactly what she does, how much time she puts in, and if the council needs I this board to yeah. go before the council, I would be willing to go discuss this issue with the council. Because I think it's very unfair yeah. that she's doing all this work and not being compensated for it when other department heads are doing the same exact thing and they're being compensated. That's not right. And, and that's got to be taken care of. So I'll put that in the form of a motion that we send a letter to the council asking them to reconsider this. Second that motion. Okay, so we have a motion to send would we be better off sending it to the ordinance because it has to go through the ordinance? I would say that it has to be addressed to uh, Commissioner uh, Long. He's the head of the okay, ordinance. Okay, then Councilor Long. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Request for installation of additional monument at Veterans Memorial Bicentennial Park, Duval Street. So that's the one that Mr. Aldridge presented. Okay. And discussion? Yeah. Okay. Can you have commission? I don't have a problem with any monuments down here. What I have a problem with is we have one down here. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been memorialized in two years. And he doesn't seem to want to memorialize it anymore, and he doesn't want to pass it, pass it on to someone else. It's so I, I just hate to put another monument that's not going to be memorialized once a year. The Hima Jima Memorial, memorial Day has not been memorialized okay. in two years, for whatever reasons. I don't know. Okay. We're not going to shoot okay. the match here. The man, the Bruce Aldridge right now is not feeling well. That's why he hasn't been doing what he was supposed to do. It's not that he, he doesn't want to do it no more. And people are saying he doesn't want to do it. He's been sick. Okay. So in other words, that. ceremonies okay. that go on yeah. every year, two years he hasn't done it because he wasn't feeling well. Right. Just so that you know, I was in a conversation tonight with Mr. Aldridge, mm -hmm. and he said to me, um, how would he go about reserving the park Right. for some anniversary. I guess next year is yes. the anniversary of that. He is looking to plan an event in February. Is that the, yes, it is. the anniversary? It's, it's the 100, I think it's the 100 year. So just so this board knows that's something that he is um, working on, I told him to probably submit that to the board sometime in October so that it would be able to be acted on and, and the board would have the information. So just to bring you up to date with what I was told tonight. So we don't have the plans or anything for this? No, he gave them to you. He, he's oh, talking that's about something else. Oh, yes. okay. Uh, I, Where is this? I'd like to support this, not because I'm a veteran, but because but I think it's a good idea that every branch will be represented here on the wars and um, that we're in right now, and this way here, all of us, the citizens of Fall River that have passed, passed on will be on a stone, and it will be a uh, place for everybody to come over Commissioner Sylvia, that is handed Well, we're still in discussion. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't make a motion? Not yet. Well, I, I agree with my column, and I, I believe every conflict should be, if you want to put a monument for one conflict, you can have monuments for, for other conflicts too. And uh, I agree with my colleague that we should do this, and I'll be supporting it. Second of ours? Yeah, I, I have no problem with the monument. What I have a problem with, if someone's sick, they can pass it on to someone else to memorialize it on Memorial Day. That's the problem I have. Okay, but I don't think that that's an important nice. problem. That's an internal problem yeah, for yeah, the veterans. Right. So I think that that's something that we should act on, whether we want it to go there and then they can... I, mean, I agree okay. with my colleagues. I think every conflict should be recognized on there. Or well, some yeah. 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 So you motion. make a motion? Okay, so there's a motion to accept. Second. A second. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. I thought Jeff made the motion. Jeff, no. did you originally make the motion? He didn't make it. He, he was put in discussion okay. first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dick Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Request for June 30th event, Quicker Shan Rail Trail. We have it in our packet. For now, Lima, I do see him here. Yeah, he's here. Um, so it's a festival for June 30th from 12 to 4. He was here last meeting. Um, I do have the liability. You have the liability. Okay, so motion to accept. Motion to accept. Second. Motion to accept by Commissioner Rigo and seconded by Commissioner Tavares. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have. Thank you. Thank you. Request for outdoor Calvary Temple event for July 6th. They would need Mark to the their liability policy is not presented here, so if the board doesn't want it, it needs to be with a stipulation. Okay. They've done this before. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this one is a little different. They used to do a family, I even, I asked the same question. They used to do a family fun night. This one is not going to include the bouncies and the whatever. I think it's just a tent and... Um, they would not serve food at skates. Yeah, they would clean like up. It's like a out thing outside. Yeah. So we just... Motion to grant permission. Provide, they provide a liability policy. Okay. I second. I second. And second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Request for the recreation summer kickoff, Ruggles Park, Pine Street, North Park. Did yeah. do this all the time, right? Yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe Mr. Smith can refresh my memory. In the past, was there an issue with the soap box? Uh, no. Um, they don't use the. <coughs> they don't use it down Snake Hill. At one time they wanted to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, they okay. want to do it down Snake Hill? Yes. I'm, yep, I'm satisfied. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Last well, this time right now is just the bottom so that they can kind of build up a little bit of yep. no, no. I, I said I was. Are they two separate things though? Because it's summer lunch program we're talking about. That's another thing. There's right. Three, there's three we could okay, so, take them all together. If you okay, want. so then. With one vote, just explain them. To the public, which motion to grant permission all three. Uh, okay, motion to grant okay. permission to all three. So one is a kids kickoff right. on June 15th in Ruggles Park. The other one is the summer lunch program that's going to run Monday, June 24 to August 21. Yep. Those will be Griffin Park on 4th Street, Kennedy Park, Maple, uh, Middle Street, Lafayette Park, Easton Avenue, Maplewood Park, Stafford Road, Cluskey Park, Warren Street, Ruggles Park, I believe it's on the, the Pine or Locust Street uh, side. North Park is on President Avenue, and Travastus is on Dean Street. So, uh, and the Soapbox Derby is July 13th in North Park. Okay, yeah, motion to accept it all. Motion has been made to accept it all. Second. Well, Commissioner Sylvia made a motion and Helen seconded. Oh. So we're all set. Second. All in favor? Aye. All Aye. opposed? You better get fast to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's because he's older than me. Request, <laughs> request Corky Row event at Griffin Park. 
Fourth Street, uh, yeah, June 29th. Okay. Uh, they have done it before. It's done under the. Um, but then they have food it's done candy under the uh, okay. Redemption Fellowship yeah. Yeah. Church, yeah. I think. However, yeah. uh, he does have to be told about the grilling. Yeah. Yeah. He does have tree. to be told about the. Um, yeah. Uh, the moon walks. That even though he has a liability policy, mm -hmm. those the grilling is an issue with the fire department has to inspect. The generators too, no? And generators. No tents. Uh, he doesn't say. Want to the stipulation? Yeah, I make a motion to approve with the stipulation that we get the permits for the. Uh, for the grills? The grills, yes. Yeah. And the liability. And liability. Policy. And the liability. Yeah. Has the liability. This liability is attached. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right now. I'll second that motion. Okay, so the motion has been made to grant permission with the um, stipulation that the grills are. We get a certificate from the fire department. Now, I'll second that motion. For the grills? For the, the grills. Generators and tents if needed. Right. Okay. The tents, grills. We got Bob and I'm in second. Bob made it. Oh, Joe did. I'm sorry. Joe sent me it. Oh, I'm I got sorry. Beat again. No, you were no, no, you, you do made it. You oh. made the right. <laughs> Jeff, Commissioner Sylvia, keep him in line, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Request from United Way to clean up June 21st, day of action. So it's. It's under Redemption yeah, Fellowship. Yeah, that's it. But they are giving me something else for that. Motion to approve. Second. Uh, wait a minute. What do we have cleanup? The cleanup. Yes. Yeah. They want to know what park, right? Isn't that the one that came down? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want it to park, or do I wish we would do the rail trail? You tell me where you want us. Well, I'd rather have the rail trail, but I'm not in charge of that. It's That's really. It's not a park. No, but she just said you tell me. Rail you trail could use some help. We need. If you need us someplace else, we're just trying to. The Niagara Neighborhood will take care of the, the Pulaski for you. What's that? Niagara Neighborhood Association will take care of Pulaski right, she for just, you. You know what I can do? I can um, actually check with my foreman. We have sometimes like areas that are out of the way. People like, are you looking to clean up like small cleaning? Are you looking to clean up yeah. dumping? <laughs> we got we got all yeah. kinds of cleaning. Honestly, this is the first. This is the first time that. So we you participated in day of action. Okay. But it's supposed to be something for the community, okay, we're, something public. We're going to have a so. discussion. You want to come down? Make, yeah. we'll make a motion we for it. Wait the rules. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. The ayes have it. Thank you. I'd rather not project my voice at this time of day, anyways. <laughs> it's okay. It's very pleasant. So it's basically something that you're looking to. Um, I would think like a small project, right? Because you have right. a lot of people, a few people. So I'm at this point, we're going to have a smaller group of people because okay. it's so close timeline-wise. Our goal is to participate in this event each year going forward, okay. um, and it's always around the same day. So the whole this is going to be a small one, just like our summer collaboration is going to be small, and hopefully we're going to grow those things as the years go forward. I so. would agree, Nancy. I'd, I'd make a, um, entertain a motion to have Nancy check with her foreman to yeah. see. We, we want to be helpful, so. We get that area, but we don't have time yeah. to get to that. So yep, that's exactly. Uh, I'll make that motion. Okay. Grant permission pending the uh, conversation with Mr. Smith and, uh, with the foreman and uh, see what park is in the most. Second. Yeah. Okay, great. We have a second? Powers. Bob to Powers. Bob did it. Okay, thank you. So I'll put you have okay. my email. Yeah, yeah. just. And I'll do a save the date for All our volunteers. Favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Request from Maplewood regarding sponsor for new scoreboard. I still don't see a picture of us, guys. I don't know. No picture. No picture. 
No hats. I'm kidding. Just for the record, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, we have Mr. Travis come down. You have a question? Oh, okay. Have a motion? Motion, motion to waive the rule? Okay. Motion has been made and seconded by Commissioner Tavares. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Mr. Travis, could you please come down? Sure. Thank you so very much. And Mr. Mr. Pettit would be nice. Yes. Okay. I have a couple of questions. Sure. Um, the blue fields here. Yes. Going on which one? This is already on the Bay Blue Field, the scoreboard. The scoreboard. Yes. The scoreboard. Yes. Yeah. That's that's the new scoreboard, which is on the Bay Blue Field. So if you look at the picture of the back of the scoreboard, what is that? Center field, pretty much. That is D. D. That shows you the. Field. I got them in order here. He's going to give you some in order. These are in order. I, I, these. I'm okay. I got them. Okay. These are in order. But if, Park Commissioner, if you look at the back of the scoreboard, it shows you where the it shows you the field. Okay. One of the questions I have is I don't know. Uh, being small. B, yes. That's going to go on the top or the bottom? Of the That's going to go on the top. Top of A. It's going to be a little out of place. And it's only, so that's, it yeah, it's yeah. only two feet. That uh, one's only two, two foot feet wide. I, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. The problem I have is, the board has rules for signs. Okay. That are four by eight, I believe. You said that earlier, the scoreboard is a lot bigger than 12 by 18. The back. It is, it is. All right, so... And you, your intention was to cover that whole back? Yeah, I mean, and, the point. I, I understand your intention, but, again, I've been preaching for months about rules of this board, and I will stick by what I say and stand by it. We have rules. Mm -hmm. I'm not against the sign. Sean, we've known each other for a long time. Mm -hmm. both, both been involved in baseball a long time. Mm -hmm. I understand the purpose and the reason why you're doing it, okay? But, I can't compromise my beliefs regarding this board's rules. If you want to reduce that to four by eight, to cover most of it, the back of it. I don't have a problem with it. I'll support it, and I'll make the motion to support it. But if it's going to cover the entire thing, that's in violation of our rules, and I will not support that. Okay. And I'm just being upfront. Yeah, I know. Can I respond? So I have a question because I'm um, new to this. So the, the rules for the the rule is for the biggest sign that we have is usually a four by eight sign. Four by eight on the back side. Okay. okay, I'm going to pay the devil's advocate so Sean doesn't have to throw anybody under the bus because, hey, I'm, I'm lacking yeah. friends around here anyway. Why should foot Sean lose his? <laughs> there are a number of leagues that have put up signs bigger than what or exactly as big as Sean is proposing at this point. And when they start hanging off the fences, they call me up and tell me my sign is hanging. I need to go get it. However, on the sign is a big advertisement that they've sold because the city of Fall River doesn't sell advertisements. Am I correct or am I incorrect? Just nod yes. Uh, yes. You are correct. There you go, Jay. <laughs> Speak up for you. No. At, because you know what? You this is where Jeff's thing is correct. Maybe since this board and myself are getting such a terrible name, yeah. <coughs> we should go around like the sheriff and start taking everything down that doesn't belong or conform. But we don't. But we don't. And we still get a bad name. And I get that I'm difficult to deal with. Well, I don't think it's fair that these people are coming in, presenting to us what they want to do, and we're saying to them, gee, 12 by 18, not going to fly. Next meeting, if you want me to waltz you in here, a 12 by 18 sign and lay it right in front of this table, I can do it. And it has nothing to do with me. But yet, I get more flack from those people and for doing what I do, my job. I should go and take the sign down. Then that would give them something to talk about. Why aren't we taking the shot sign down? Yeah, I mean, I'll respond when you guys want that's, to. Um, that's wait, I have a... The whole size of the back, 12 by 18. Yeah, but we, I mean, it's, 
they gotta have a guy come and look at it. What they're gonna do? It, it doesn't mean it's gonna be that whole entire thing. It's it's. But that's that's. I'll, I'll respond when you guys want. Right. I'll, I'll let everybody talk, and then I'll just put my, add my comments when you guys are. Yeah, well, we do. We do get um, we get accused of being hostile and bossy and bullying oh, no. people. And, and I get accused of having faith. And and it's not the truth. We have rules in place and for I, a reason. And I appreciate the rules. And, and that's and why. Thank you. That's and why I'm here. It's for yeah. everybody. It's Absolute. not just the chosen few. A absolutely. So we will have to make a point because I wasn't aware of it that signs are going up and they're that big. If there's a rule that this board has made, as Commissioner Sylvia said, we're going to stick to it. That's why we have rules. Um, so. I would agree and entertain a motion that you, we approve this with the stipulation it has to be four can by I, eight because that's the rule. Can I, can I respond? Yes. Okay. I came in not even knowing what the rule was. Just so you guys know, I didn't, okay. I have no idea what the rule was. I didn't call Nancy up and say what, what, what's the size of signs. The only uh, issue I'm saying is it's a rule, I understand it, but the rule as I understand it is it's for a backstop. It's a four by eight sign for a backstop. I am not requesting a 4x8 sign for a backstop. I'm requesting a 4x8 sign. I'm not requesting a sign for a back of a scoreboard. Sean, this is a billboard. No? Yeah. Can I? Just let me respond. That way we don't go back and forth, please. So, I can put a 4x8, okay? It's going to look Stupid. silly. Exactly. Because you're going to see this. And again. Well, unless you put a 4x8 with your advertisement, and I don't know how big this section is, and just. Whatever your background is, leave it the same it, But it's color. still going to be a larger sure, sign. Is it going in between the two bowls? No, it's going to just no. cover the back. Because if I put it like this, it's going to look silly. You're going to have all this silver showing here and here. Yeah. I mean, again, all I'm asking is for you guys to table it, review the yeah. ruling on signs, okay. negotiate, you know, discuss it. Yeah. I'm not asking uh, to meantime, change any rules. In the meantime, you probably can get the sign in the front. Commission for the well, oh, it's going back to back. This is going to be, uh, how do I say it? Uh, it's going to be very good for the park. That's all I can say. So, well, if somehow, some, three, if we can work this out, it's it's going to be. Well, well because be can I? Yeah. What size can, is that in between? Can, no, no, no. I like it. Can I respond? No, nope, one minute. All right. Put those posts. What did you say? I'll explain. Well, no kibitz and you're going yeah, to say yeah. I just wanted to know. Well, I, couldn't, I, couldn't, I didn't hear what he said. What is it? Ten feet. Ten feet. So ten feet, feet on, the, the beams between. are ten feet on center. That, that's what he, I think he's trying so to find out. 12 by 10 center. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. speak into yeah. it. He says it's okay. 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 We okay. bought the scoreboard. We installed it in the park. The sponsor is basically going to pay for the scoreboard. It's a five-year commitment for the scoreboard. The money that we raise as a nonprofit goes back into that park. We put new fences, so the city benefits from our services in a private public partnership. So that's so, how it's going to go back into the park. And I have a question. Yes. So what happens after you're no longer the president then, or Trace uh, or. Um, I'm the secretary. Okay, the secretary. It's a five year contract. Uh, the sign. We're not even supposed to be talking. I thought he was the president. I no, well, I'm, I'm the board of director, which I'm here on behalf no, of the league. I'm talking to your president. That's well, our rule, too. That's our rule. <laughs> the, the, president rule? Not, the president could not be here tonight. Uh, so anyways, that's, where, that's how the park benefits. Did you, did, you, did you think of asking the park before you bought the signs? We didn't buy the signs. You just said you put, you put the signs, you, you put them on. The board. No, we put a new scoreboard up. This is the scoreboard. We paid for the scoreboard. We haven't bought the signage yet. That's why no. we're here. Did you put the scoreboards up already? Yeah. With permission from the park board. Well, we, did. We, we did. Yes. yes. Did we know what size he was putting up? Yes. 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 Yeah. Same size as the other board. Well, we didn't talk. We, he didn't talk about advertising. Yeah. We don't care how big the score. The scoreboard has to be big. It has to have yeah. nine innings across. Yeah. Commissioner and Sil balls and strikes. Commissioner Silva. The advertisement on it doesn't have to be. Okay. Big. Commissioner Silva. I just want to again, Mr. Smith, comment, a correct. Okay. Maybe this board needs to have the park to put out work and slow down and stop ripping down signs yep. that are not conforming to what the rules are. And I don't buy that I don't know what the rules are or we, because when somebody comes in and requests something, they're notified what the rules are. It may not have been 
somebody in particular, but whoever represents your organization comes in and they're told. And again, another to relay another situation. If new people come in and there's no communication, that is not the issue with this board. The issue with this board is we have rules and they should be enforced. Okay? And I cannot see the fact that if there are signs out there, the people didn't follow the rules and they were told to. So maybe they should be punished and rules because they still punish you because get a lot of phone calls. We're gonna be on Facebook tomorrow morning anyway. Who cares? Okay. So we this board is getting bashed every day. Every day. Okay? By somebody because they don't want to follow the rules for this or that or signs or whatever. Okay? So if you're gonna bash us, I'm gonna give you a reason to bash me. Okay? I am not going to vote for anything that does not conform to the rules of this board that this, the board has in place. And I might be in the minority, and that's fine. Okay, but that's will. the way I feel. Okay. And I'm sick of getting kicked around. Uh, can I just find one, one, one response? One response. The reason why I said, um, <clears throat> Commissioner Sylvia, is what happens when they're no longer there is because once again we get bashed and we hear the same thing. Nancy, correct me if I'm wrong. Other people, they promise they're going to take care of one thing. They promise they're going to take care of, uh, we got pitches for examples. We got batting cages and everything else that was we gave permission to. They're taken down. This is what everybody else has to pick up. Oh, but what I'm, 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 I'm Wait a minute. That's what I'm saying. Excuse me, please. But that's why I said the next thing we have is. Oh, I guess we're, I'm being funny now. I guess the next thing I, I have is is that's why I said that to him. What happens after that? Because we always own it. So and you're I, absolutely I, right. This is the batting cage. We'll get to that. Let's but that, stick well, with but, this. But this is a, a one piece of property that a league asked to put up. I understand. I okay. have that. I'm right. Like it will be next, but that's why I said right. it. So, and but it, you're and absolutely and I'm right. Not, I'm not accusing this league of going to walk away and, and leave the place in the shambles. All I'm saying is we have rules. That's right. And I did say I'm not against the sign. Right. Just make it the size it's supposed it's to the, be. Right. And if this board wants to change that rule, then someone can make a motion. And we'll vote on. That's all I'm saying. I'm not asking well, anybody to do anything different. My advice different. to the board is not to change this thing until you go out yeah, we and go take out. a survey of every sign yeah. that is put up in the parks. Then come back and say there are this many signs that do not meet the board's standards. Call those leagues in. Do what you got to do. And if it, the decision of this board is to make the signs bigger, make the signs smaller, make the my personal opinion, I think if you make the back of this sign an advertisement, you are going to get 10,000 phone calls that you got a billboard in Maywood Park. Right. I have nothing against yeah. it, but I think it's I a agree. great thing that you do, but I think it's a little bit too big to do the entire um, back of the school. Commissioner? Well, um, yeah. Um, I think everybody's getting all excited here. Yeah. For, but as Sean stated, the 4 by 8 was for backstop. He's not asking for a 12 by. Well, the sign is a 2 by 2 above it. Right now, we have no regulations for the backs of backstop oh. for signs. So let's put it that way. Right now, there are zero regulations for the back of a, of a sign. Because right. we've never had anyone come before us to ask us to put the back of a so sign. So then I would entertain a motion to table this. Can I, before you close out, can I just respond? Please. Go ahead. We've been around. 25 years. I know you have, Sean, I but, will, but we, no, we, no. we need to... What? Nope, you, you said something and I'm fine with it. Can I just, just let me respond? You have my word that whatever <laughs> sign goes up there, I'm not just committed to the league, I'm committed to the park. I've lived there all my entire life. If we go by the park, Jay and myself, and see that sign falling down, mm -hmm. even if I'm not involved in the league, I'm going to go there and take it down. Oh, we'll, go, we'll go there before you. No, but I understand. No, <laughs> we'll but I just before. want you to understand but that. I got, right. a, I got a lot of years left. My little it's, one's four. This so. kid's four years old. I will so. be around for all right. That's all. I don't want to. All right. But That's all I want to Four years old. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, I, I think it's, the proper thing to do is take it. Well, well, the well, we, have, we have to see what the commission is decide on. That's fine. And we have a motion. 
Any motions? I'll make a motion to table. Motion to be tabled. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All okay. opposed? So I have a question. Are we only tabling the back? Are they allowed to put the advertisement? He didn't say. That. Yeah, it's not going to fly. In there. It's, it's not about that. Okay. No. So we're going to table the entire thing. They're, They're going to kind of do it. Oh, yeah, I can't just put the front one out the back. You know, it's not. Nobody will see it. I mean, it would be. Okay. So we'll table it. Right. If I oh, sure. We already have a motion on it. And, and it's already done. We got to move forward. Yeah. What's the motion for? The motion was already done. Four. No, yeah. it was we'll tabled. Table it and look into signs. We have to look into it. So just. That's fine. Yep. Just. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you very you much. You guys have a nice night. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Yep. Request for the use of Pulaski Park on June 11th and 12th Green School Field Days. I'll make a motion to roll. The second. Do we have it in here? Let's just all get on the same page here. Okay, it's after Sean's side. We have a motion? Yeah, I second it. Do you want to say it again, Victor? I'll make a motion. For a motion <coughs> to approve. To approve. Motion to approve and been seconded by Helen. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And for the record, there was a <coughs> on Monday, but they did not send in a request. So, Park's grass was a little bit high. Yes. I don't know you're coming over. I can't make you dinner. Well, again, as Commissioner Sylvia said, in prior meetings as well as a lot of us have mentioned everybody goes around and above and everything else and we never get to know what's going on so uh let's see jay a letter of thanks i'd like to play it place it on uh motion file. Place, it for it. place on file it's been made and seconded all in favor Aye. Aye. all opposed joe could you say the name for me please <laughs> <laughs> The club. The club. The club. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Kazusko. Okay. I can never say it. How do you say that properly? Just say it. I just did say it. Kazusko. It's not here. Kazusko. Okay. Tree removal request. Forty-seven Green Lane Street, corner Middlesex, and Barlow Street, and seven o eight Robeson Street. Anybody move the issues yet? No, I haven't. I have. Chris, can you come down? Motion to waive the rule. Okay, second. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Yeah, is that it? So, Chris, we have how many trees here? There are, One, there's two, two on at 47 Green Lawn. There's two at the corner of Middlesex and Barlow, and there's one at 708 Robeson. Um, 47 Green Lawn, the, the trees are not in the best condition and it has completely destroyed those sidewalks. Um, DCM is already on that street replacing sidewalks on the other side of the road and speaking with uh, one of the guys there, they've stated that if the trees are removed they're going to work on that side of the street too. So. If the trees are removed. Yeah, they are can't these, fix them with the trees there. What are these pictures that we have in our packet? I believe, I didn't get any pictures. I believe oh. those are from uh, Barlow the and Middlesex, behind. though. But the sidewalks on Green Lawn are substantially Careful. worse than really? those pictures, thing? yes. So my recommendation to the board is to have uh, that tree at 47 Green Lawn removed, okay. or the two trees there removed. And then what about uh, the corner of Middlesex? So Middlesex and Barlow, those trees look really healthy as far as what I looked at and what uh, my tree supervisor looked at as well. Um, there is some cracking on the sidewalks, but I don't know if DCM is even uh, scheduled or slated to do those sidewalks or willing to do them. Um, I, in her letter, she mentions that she's had some um, plumbing issues, but I haven't received any um, documentation or bills for sewer repairs. So my recommendation for those trees is we leave them there unless they provide documentation that they've had to do repairs to their home and also DCM saying that they're 
those sidewalks are in need of repair and that they'll do them. Otherwise, those trees are, are probably some of the healthiest in the city. And that's the corner of Middlesex and Barlow? Correct. And what about the... The seven weight robust in that tree is, uh, it's pretty much at a point where we would just take it down without permission because it's it's almost completely dead. So I make a motion that we take the one on uh, 708 Robeson. Um, wait a minute. Commissioner Sylvia? I was going to make a motion. Okay. Sorry, I was still reading. The, it, I, I need the large print. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I mean, I'm sorry. Victor? So I make a motion that we re uh, remove the tree at 708 Robeson Street. And? The two at, two at uh, 47 Green, Lawn. And is, okay, so we have a, a motion for that. Second? Second. Second. Commissioner Sylvia, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. And then we need um, for Barlow. Middlesex and Barlow. Both right. right. Um, and, uh, and Corner. Yeah. Corner Middlesex. Yeah, we got in Middlesex and Barlow. Uh, yeah. Make a motion for. Make a motion to uh, table it on the advice of Chris and uh, that we need documentation. We need documentation that they're having issues with the so on and uh, pending DCMs checking it out in the second walk out. Commissioner Thomas. Yeah, regarding the follow up and the one we were just talking about, I forget the street. Middlesex. Middlesex. Mm -hmm. Before uh, DCM can do sidewalks, is the problem the roots? Yeah, so we, we would have to remove the tree first and grind down the stump, but the trees are healthy. I wouldn't want to remove them unless DCM is committed and has the funding to actually repair those sidewalks. Otherwise, it's just well, removing the trees and the side. Anyway, right? right, the sidewalk would... But if we remove the trees and DCM isn't going to repair the sidewalks, now we've just taken down two trees for really no reason. So, um, so that's okay. So that was my question. Are they? Do they have an intention of taking out those? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't so heard anything. Around. Yeah. I mean, and then the other thing would be if they did. If there was um, some type of bill from a plumbing company or foundation repairs then we know for sure that the tree has caused damage but okay. i haven't seen anything to so say we have that. a motion on the table now that uh, commissioner sylvia had said that uh, he wants documentation from um the homeowner right if there was repairs or anything done and a letter from uh dcm to see what their uh plans would be to so we would table this so there's a motion to table motion to table on the I know it's a recommendation. Okay. Is there a second? With the stipulation of. With uh, the stipulation of everything I just said. That's right. correct. And, and, and uh, the other thing I wanted to add was even if we don't get a, uh, a letter stating that there's a blockage or there's a problem there, isn't it a, a safety concern with the sidewalk ripped up like that from the woods? I, I mean, I think there <clears throat> there is a safety concern there, but taking the tree down isn't going to remedy that situation. Um, and in talking with the engineer for the city, Mr. Frey, uh, they do have and they have been testing a new cement surface that they can put around trees that allows it to flex a little bit and save the tree really? and make the sidewalk ADA compliant and things like that. So there's some efforts that can be made to keep those trees there. But that would require DCM and the engineer to take a look at those. I mean, we wouldn't want to take down the tree if they're not going to do that. Right. Okay. So, so the motion Second. is on the table. And Second. And uh, Commissioner Schoenberg seconded all in favor? Aye. All opposed? Right, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Concerns for North Park American Little League. Now, um, we did have a correspondent saying that she couldn't make it, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, she, well, she did but send correspondence saying that she couldn't But this make gentleman it. keeps laughing, so I'm assuming that you're part of it, right? Are you in you, sir? Are you part of, where are you from? Excuse me? Are you with this organization? No. You're not? Okay. I didn't know, because when I was talking about it, you started to laugh, so I wasn't sure if you were. Okay. I don't know, smiling and laughing, thank you. Oh, okay, that's okay. You can smile all you want. We're smiling. That's right. Thank you. 
Maybe. Well, thanks for being. Yeah, we are. So there's nobody here from North Park? Nobody here no, from she, North Park. I received an email from her today that um, said she wasn't going to be able to make the meeting and that she would try to have her treasurer come. But I said to her, the board's concerns are normally addressed, but the board's rules, they address the concerns with the president because many tell, oh, they have to pick one person who's going to always come. They have one contact for the league because Jeff can attest to this. The president comes in, he said he wants to take the fence down. The vice president comes in, he goes, why'd you take the fence down? So over the years, the board has come to the conclusion that you have one spokesman person for your league. So she said she wasn't going to be there. She said, you know, can he come? I said, it's, it's not something I can say. I suggested that she wrote a letter to this board explaining her situation, that is, she is not available on Wednesday nights. And at that point, the board would be able to make a decision of whether they were going to speak to whoever, the, I think it was the treasurer from the board of directors that was going to come in. I mean, we have had an issue. My concern is we've had an issue with this league where they say, oh, the president didn't tell us that. We weren't aware of this rule. And now we're going to go from the president down to the treasurer of who we're going to talk to? I mean, we need to stick with one person. And I, I mean, that's just my opinion, whether the board meets with her on another night, whether the board decides they're going to meet with whoever else. That's the board's decision. I cannot overrule a rule that this board has. Can I ask a question, though? Mm -hmm. Has that part been cleaned up? Has this, this mess all been addressed? And no, this is what the batting cages are down. The batting cages are down, but these are left. This is the the papers that are. Is that left from the batting cages? Yeah. Yeah. That first one. Yeah. Left and for who? For, for us. us to clean. For the city to clean. And um, we still have, you know, what they uh, pictures from before that were brought to our attention. Um, that we haven't addressed. That we haven't addressed yet. yet. But um, the problem is, I don't even think that we received the information we asked for. No, Did we ever get the contract that, the, that this league went into? I mean, they went into a contract with a company, I've a asked, city property. I've asked I mean, for that contract. I don't think the taxpayers would like that. I've asked for the contract so that the board can see. How it started was they wanted to move a sign, and I said, well, you can't move that sign to the concession. And they said, well, that's part of our contract. And my answer was, your contract with who? And I, I think I said this story once before at a meeting. They said, the contract that we have with Truesdale Health is between us and Truesdale Health. It has nothing to do with the park department. And I said, are your signs, are you hanging your signs in the park department? And she said, yes. And I said, well, it has everything in the world to do with the park department, and we would like to see that agreement, because technically, someone from the city of Fall River should have had to sign that agreement. And if something, if they renege or they do anything that they're not supposed to do, the city would be liable. So I asked for that agreement. I hadn't received it. In conversations where she had, um, solicited the help of uh, Representative Fiola. Representative Fiola referred to that oh my God. with me, and I said in the email, matter of fact, that email may be in here. It's okay. I remember it from the last week. Um, I was informed by Carol Fiola that you wanted my list of board members, so here they are. Well, in that same email, I said I wanted the list of my, my request was because that they had said they weren't informed by their board members, I felt, felt like the board could have some of maybe those board members come forward or whatever. And it said, I said to her, Representative Paola was incorrect in asking for the present board of directors. I asked for the past since 2015, since you said these people did not make you aware of it. The email from the board also asked for a copy of the agreement between your league Truesdale Health that the board is not yet received of. If your league has entered into any contracts or agreements regarding park property, the board needs a copy. Well, Absolutely. 
No response. Right. That's April 17th. So the information that you asked for, That's once it. again, she wouldn't give it to you, but she sent it to Representative California. Well, she sent the board members to Representative Fiola. She didn't send it to me. I was told right. I don't have any well, more information. Well, the only thing we can do is table it, but we can't even... Well, it's been tabled because she can't come. She can't and now come. She's I'm telling the board that she said she has a new job on Mondays and um, I forgot what day she said, but Wednesdays are not her days off. Well, she's not able to make Wednesday. And that's where she said, can the treasurer come? And I, I said, I can't make that decision. So, can't say no. so if the board wants to address these issues with the treasurer, <coughs> Yeah, I want to copy this contract. Bring her pay all I've her been paperwork. Trying. Or the board can say, when you give us our paperwork, what I don't want to happen, and this is, and I'm going to say this now, and today is June 5th. Okay. What I don't want to happen is come next spring. This all has to come to a close because come next spring, when this league wants to again set up shop in North Park, it's going to be said, we didn't know that we needed this information. We didn't know that we needed this. And then again, we're going to let 68 kids play because we don't want to have the children be the ones that don't play. Because this year, they played without permits. I'm just going to say. There was no effect on their play whatsoever. Everybody made the time available for them. They had their concessions open. They are entering a tournament team in the initial tournament at one age group. Yeah. That's what she told me when I had my district. So how do you, I, I don't understand, like, I don't understand either. Well, what, was the, what would the board like to do about these concerns? We, we're going to request again. How many times have we requested for the contract? We want all the paperwork and we want her in front of us. Obviously, well, she can't come on. Well, members. unless the board has done a different night. day for one day. Change your day and have her come in. That's it. You know, July is kind of an awkward month. You're, maybe we can meet on a different. Can we talk to the secretary? This is gonna. This treasurer. is gonna open up a can of for next year. The treasurer. That's up to you. She wants to send the treasurer. Joe. You need to, to determine if you are going to allow the treasurer to come. I don't have a problem, but is the treasurer going to be able to here. answer for her? Okay. Or is he, that's, that's what you need she, to know. Can the treasurer bring, can treasurer bring all the paperwork and the contract? That's what can we somebody want. call her and ask her if she can give that treasurer all that information to bring oh. to you? I got about papers this long. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else to do. You got a copy of this contract. Listen, the only thing I got to go to get the papers is I got to go to the guy that choose Dale help, bang him over the head with <laughs> Put can a, we, put can, we, and can we send a letter? Up. Can we send a letter to Corporation Council and see if he can get the information for us? Because we're not getting it anywhere else. Well, I don't know what kind of income yeah. they're generating through these contracts. And when when people say to me, "That's part of my contract that I entered that we have with Truesdale Health and our league, not you." I tend to get a little bit concerned because the signs are going into the park. They're going into the park, and not only that, it's, you know. I mean, I'm not sure grudging anybody on fundraisers, Sylvia. So I'll suggest to make a motion. I want her here. I don't want the treasurer. Okay. I don't want anybody else. This is the second meeting two months in a row. Our conversations and our emails, and some of them getting a little bit. That she declined to be here. So, in my opinion, I'll make a motion that if we can one night meet on a different night to accommodate her, we do that. Okay. Because I'm not going to sit here and say, oh yeah, we'll talk to somebody else. That's not our rules. All night I've been talking about rules. Yeah. Okay? And I'm not going to change. This is the way it is. I will not talk to anybody else. Our rule is the president and the leads come in. It's been that way for a long time. 
If, if it's to accommodate well, on one well, night, I'm willing to eat one night yeah, on another problem night. Is I was under the impression that Sean was the president. Yes, yeah, so did I. So this I is a misstep on our yeah, part I, it, it, without realizing And I apologize. because So I from now on, uh, I will. But I do agree with uh, Commissioner Sylvia. I think that she and everyone else, she does need to come here. We've waited long enough because. And, and I'm going to amend that, okay, by what was just said about Sean. They want to send somebody else, I'll bend a little bit, okay? But they better be here on that night, because if not, when they apply for a permit next year, yeah. I will not vote for a permit for that league. But they better have the answers to have the documentation. Exactly. That's, if it's she's right. the well, president, there's some We're not going to meet on a separate night, we're not going to bring answers. Although, you know what? That's right. The treasurer might be the guy you want to speak to. Right. He's she, the guy so who knows. I can tell you right okay, now, the treasurer, the treasurer on this she. April 17th email with the officers is not the treasurer anymore. <laughs> she resigned. So, okay. so, so this treasurer now coming in, is somebody, Just I don't even know who he is. That's not going to fly. He's That's not going to have okay, the information. Okay, so we, you know what, women? So this is what we'll do. I agree with Commissioner. Done. So she needs to come in she on needs a different to come night. In. If the president we'll, come, if the treasurer comes in and, and he's, a new, he's a new employee, okay. he, he can't right, do that. If we the have, board, if the we board have, wants to do that. We have Commissioner Sylvia who stated he, in a form of a motion, correct? I'll make that a motion that we meet on another night to accommodate her. Okay. I'll do that. I think that's, that, that's, that's what we're going to do. Moving forward, we have we have rules. But that's it's going to be the last be. time we do that. This is the last time we're going to do it. So make note that this is it. We will figure out when we can meet next month um, on a what day does she? I, I sent an email. You know, I just want to make one statement before okay, so let's just seconds in or whatever, because it's going to be an excuse. I'm a volunteer. Well, we're a well volunteer. I'm in League baseball for I'm 40 a years. I'm, I'm a volunteer. I'm a volunteer. Yeah, a volunteer. She's not. We just discussed about her not getting money. She should be getting. So I'm a and every one of us are volunteers too. That's so guess what? Name. I've had enough of that excuse too. Listen, there are these people from Maplewood are volunteers. Exactly. People from the soccer leagues are volunteers. Exactly. Everybody is okay, a volunteer. Okay, we're all exactly. volunteers. What date are we looking at? I don't know. I can't find their email. Let me find it. <laughs> Commissioner Tavares? Yeah, I agree with Jeff. I'm willing, to say yeah. anyone. I, I, I'm willing to change the night with the stipulation that she comes with the proper paperwork that right. involves all the rules and regulations so we can get this over at once and for all. Exactly. Because I'm about like had it with this already. I mean, everybody else complies to the rules. <laughs> okay. All right, what is it? What do we have? Uh, okay. <laughs> you wait, people. This guy's making my life. Um, uh, well, the female started that she said she started a new job. She has Mondays and Fridays off only. Can schedule something on Monday these and nights. Friday. Um, <laughs> please confirm that the treasurer can attend the meeting tonight. My response to her, these meetings are public meetings, so anyone can attend, is what I said. Nobody here no. But this is what I said. <laughs> I said these meetings are public meetings, so anyone can attend. However, the board may not allow him to address your league's concerns, as their rule is to address league concerns with the league president. Uh, she wrote back, that is why I am informing you that I cannot attend meetings on Wednesday. So I'm asking if he can go in my place due to circumstances or if I can meet with the board on Monday or Friday night, please. So we'll have to... I have a question. She Who's told you that today? Yes. The agenda has been out for how many days? Well, this one was early. Yeah. 20, May 20. So the public meeting was posted publicly. Yeah. May 29th, the yeah, but Nancy, So May 29th. Nancy informed her and that And she we waited until what time to call you today? She didn't call me. Email you. Whatever. Would you get a new job today? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's be nice now. 1250s, I have a, um, I have a uh, 9, 940, but I was in a meeting at 10. So I didn't get this email. Okay, like so with a list of what she wanted. My point is, is, she couldn't wait. She couldn't do this yesterday or a few okay. days ago. So we were aware that she wasn't going to meet it. Well, this is what we're dealt with now. So, what are we going to do? 
Well, for the record, I think she knew she wasn't going to be here before, and I think other people were intending to come here because someone said that this board would be very, um, what's the word I can use? Pick one, I can call you. Yeah, uh, yeah we like can. bullying them. Oh, we're bullying and we're hostile, but everybody else can follow the rules. So, but having and then they can uh, take I just out have to say this. That I, I, I kind of take died. offense to that remark because oh when you have representatives calling myself and this board, that's not bullying. Let's make a date for a Monday not night. July first. July first on a no. Monday night. No. no, I'm not doing it before. I'm not here. July. I'm not doing it. What don't matter? July, I said. I didn't say July. He said July first. I'm not doing it July first. July seventh. July seventh is a Sunday, I think. Oh no, July eighth. I'm sorry. Well, well, your meeting was going to be the 10th. What day is that? A Monday, Joe. Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> you take care of him, I'll take care of him. Okay. <laughs> July 10th was going to be our next meeting. I think we had said we were not meeting on July 3rd because it was close to the 4th. Right. Yeah. I would change the meeting to the 10th. Is I do not available? know if the meeting room is available Okay. July 8th. If it is, I will see if I can change the meeting okay. from the 10th to the 8th. Okay, is there a motion to change the meeting? If possible. If possible. Second. If possible, I to July 8th. With the stipulation. Listen, Boston. Boston. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. July 8th, yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. With the stipulation. With the stipulation. That all the paperwork is in order to comply with the rules and regulations. Before? Okay. Before the meeting. Before so the meeting. Time time to to yeah, it. so that's a good point. Thank you, Commissioner Torres. So we should have a date of when this paperwork should be submitted because we should review it before we even come to the meeting. Well, if you're having the meeting on July 10th, you need to No, we're having it on the 8th on if the we 8th, can. Then the week before. On July 1st, you need your paperwork. Okay, by July 1st, we need it so that the board can, if the, the commission is. If the paperwork is not here by July 1st, you don't need to have the meeting on it. Right. Well, we still have to have a meeting, so we're not, you can't keep changing it for the public. Excuse me. Miss Rigo. Stuff, I'm taking notes. <laughs> no, I'm taking the notes now. Listen, all right, so that's we can't change it from the 8th to the 10th and the 8th and the 10th. It's going to be the 8th. There's, there's on the floor that, right? Yes, Commissioner. We'll meet at the 8th. What you can meet at the 8th, but any one of her concerns, I'm um, mute, mu, whatever, however you want to say right. it. Right, if they don't have done. it by July 1st, if you can't come in here, if your paperwork is not here, this is how I'm understanding it. And I guess I got to send it out that the paperwork needs to be in by July 1st. And I need this. Uh, I will work with you to see what exactly paperwork. I will bullet them out okay. so she knows exactly what she needs to bring. Okay. If that paperwork is not provided to this board, not through a representative, from my your email That's to right. mine, because we already went through <laughs> we this. We already said that. Okay. Then we don't need to entertain any of this no we will not we discuss it on the agenda park board exactly meeting. okay but the regular park board meeting will be on july 8th if this i can get a room if she can get the room okay so we have a motion and second second somebody jeff thank you if your clerk can get a room that's all in favor aye, aye. all opposed aye. request yeah, why, the vice here? president the same again. Yeah, the vice president is the treasurer and the secretary. Move on. But he's not. We'll, we'll talk now. Let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. Enough is enough. Yeah. Um, let's see. Vice president can't come because it'll happen. Request from BCC Saka regarding Britman Park. She resigned. We have anybody here for this? Well, you only have um, four of the youth Saka. Where's four of the youth Saka? The lady in the back there. Yeah. She's uh, representing Rachel. Okay, but is, are they on this right now? For yes. Yeah, it's down. It says soccer. Are you looking at your agenda? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I can't see it. I told I'm you. Gonna have to make it. Okay, so I'm gonna ask before we talk about BCC if we can um, if I can get a motion to take out of order the soccer leagues at Britland Park. Motion. Second half, lighting second. and Porter John. Motion made. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to take out of order. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? 
the ayes have it. Can we also get a motion to have a representative from the soccer league come down? Motion, motion made. Motion Second. made and seconded. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Jennifer Pignol. I'm the second vice president of Bellevue Soccer League. Can you spell your last name, Jennifer? P-I-N-H-A-L. And your address, please? 1227 Dwelly. So I have a few questions mm -hmm. myself. Um, so Britland Park, your schedule, um, did you bring the half, the, the second half schedules yet? No, she, no, not yet. Okay. So the lighting, on that. the lighting situation mm -hmm. there, um, how does that work? So it's in our name, so we have the key and we pay the bill. Um, there's another men's locker league that if they use the lights, we have an agreement with them that they either pick it up at Rachel's mailbox to use the key to turn on the lights and to shut them off and bring it back, or we pay, they pay us $10 and we have one of our volunteers go do it for them. $10 total or $10 more? We pay our volunteer $10 to go bring the key to them. Right. Yeah, but well, are you, ch my, I get wait, 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 yeah. wait a minute. Ten dollars. Wait a minute, please. So, you are charging. You charge the um, the, the men's men's league. Yes. For the lighting. Yes. Because you, it's in your name and you yes. pay it. Yes. Okay. And how much do you charge them? I don't know the exact numbers. Rachel has those numbers. I think it's usually just whatever the bill is. Um, I think it's like fifty. Usually they use like forty, fifty dollars. Like you okay. know, whatever so they it's use. So forty, forty or fifty dollars, and then an additional ten if they have to bring the key. If they can't go to Rachel's house, then we send a volunteer to bring the key to them. That's it. Never usually happens. They usually go to Rachel's house and pick up the key from her. Now is that forty dollars for the season or forty dollars a night? Um, whenever they use it, normally it's. Um, most of the men's leagues, I don't That's think okay. the question use is, it. Though, is it forty dollars a day uh, per time they use it, or is it the leap for the? For it's the usually season? however much at so, the end of each pay period what they use. So. I gotcha. Okay. It's they don't pay like every time that they use the lights. It's at the end when we get the bill. That's when we figure out how much was where and which. How do you do that? That's very. Difficult. I don't know. I Rachel does it. That's not mine. Is it quarterly? No. Monthly. You get the bill. It's monthly. Right. Yeah, the monthly. It's, it's, it's a monthly bill, I guess, Neil. So right. okay. So, and how do you figure that out? Like how many nights everybody was where? Yeah. I don't know. That's Rachel. Rachel's, Rachel's, Rachel's the, the one who does I'm that. I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna just bring it forward. Okay. I, that's not the story I'm hearing, and that's why I was a little concerned because the, these leagues are coming back and they're saying they are being charged forty dollars a night. Okay. Okay. Fifty dollars a night if they have to go and get the key. Now, forty dollars a night, fifty dollars a night. If I said to for the youth soccer, forty dollars a night for every time you use the field, mm -hmm. I would be very rich. <laughs> I would have a little bit of revenue. Mm -hmm. So. My concern is the board has a rule that says no one will profit from... No, we do not profit. Okay, but we don't know that. Yeah. When people are coming to us and we're paying $15 to use your porta potty $20 for a game to use the porta potty $40 for lights... Well, porta potty is to help with the dumping and that's... I understand, right, I understand, but we don't... We don't have a bottom line. So let's just take, for example, and I, and I don't know that evidently Rachel, again, this is where right. it means the person who mm -hmm. keeps the books is the one that needs to answer the question. She and would I, be here. She had a daughter situation, yeah. so she sent me. Yeah. No, um, I totally appreciate you sending mm -hmm. something, somebody. The second half of the schedules, I'm getting, oh, well, Rachel said we could use that because she's not using that, and that's called subletting fields. So that can't be allowed either. So it's almost like Rachel is the keeper of Britland Park, and I'm turning people away saying, there's no time there at Britland Park. Yet, you know, I, 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 just for example, I look, I'm looking at one of your days on your schedule, and on, let's just say 6-2, so that was just this past Sunday. Mm -hmm. It says 6-2, 5 p.m. So you have one game on 6-2. Mm -hmm. Yet, Rachel reserves the park, not so much, I feel, I feel bad I'm saying Rachel, but for the soccer, okay. reserves the park Sunday from 1 p.m. in the afternoon to 8 p.m. at night. So anybody else who comes in, 5 to 7 would have been your game. 
Mm -hmm. So, and then if these men's league go, hey, you got any time available? She'll go, yeah, well, you can come in at 2 o'clock. Are you going to use the porta johns? Are you going to use the lights? Are you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is a little bit too much bookkeeping to go on when we say you can't profit. You can't profit. We, I just, I don't want to run into a problem, and I know that the bill is in your name. Mm -hmm. If we have to take the bill out of your name, I don't know how that's going to work, mm -hmm. how we go. You have five nights here, just the way you're saying you divide mm -hmm. the bill. Maybe it's not up to Fall River Youth Soccer to be the keeper of that bill at mm -hmm. this point because there are a lot more teams there now. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it may be up to this particular field is a premier field. We get a lot of problems when, for example, 1 to 8 is the field time. Mm -hmm. 1 to 8, that field is locked on a Sunday afternoon for one game to be played at five o'clock, mm -hmm. and the taxpayers who may want to go in there and kick a ball around are not able to do it. So we're gonna have to get down to grass tax and very serious scheduling, because I know you guys want to keep some time for rain days mm -hmm. or, or things like that, but six hours in an eight hour day, I can't justify that. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, we can't really justify locking that. It's a public pop. Why is it locked? Mm -hmm. do, do the the little leagues no, lock they their pops? Lock they can't. Right? Yeah. When, when the, the city got the grant, whatever money the city pumped into it, also, it's all decided, um, I don't remember what year it was, when mm -hmm. the field went in, to try and keep that as playable as possible over time. Mm -hmm. And that's why we put a lock on it. But te well, technically, it's but not it's working. open to the public. It's not working yet. But it's open to the public. When the park department is working, guys go by there and unlock the gate in the morning yeah, and well. they go by at but night. It's eight but, listen, but so here's the this is the place I'm getting. But it's, yeah, I just want to make clear that it is open. It's yes. not open. It's locked 24 /7. The point of it all is we have to, uh, uh, what's happening now is the fences at Britland Park are extremely damaged. I had someone go there and yep. look at that fence work. It's six to $10,000 of fence work. And the fence work is coming into fruition because the gate is not open. Guess what? I think we have to trust the taxpayers. I think we have to trust the people who live here. Yep. Uh, and we're getting to that point because it's 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 something where that's never going to stop. The way they're moving the fence is now damaging the turf behind the goals. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. It's it's damaging the field anyway. Someone's going to get hurt. I, I have no problem so taking So I think off. this board has to make a decision as to what you know. It, just like now, when they when they I'm have sure a, two I hours have. and there's eight I, hours, I have those problem. people would be able to go. When they come, you go. Listen, guys, sorry, you got to leave. I got the. I have no problem some taking the locks off. Okay, I'm just addressing the chairwoman's statement that they're locked. They're I, not well, locked. They, I they're not say, locked all the time. I did not say they were locked all the time. I said they were locked. Oh, but I want to make that yeah. clear. Okay, thank you. Um, so, so the camera, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus. Right, but the complaint we have but gotten about the last hours. hours. There was a reason why we did it. And I right, just want to state mm -hmm. the reason why. Yeah. I, had, I had asked about it before. If this board wants to vote tonight to take those locks off, that's fine with me. Can I can I get back to the lighting though? I've yes. never heard, I haven't heard any complaints, and Rachel has never told me any complaints about it. Um, I thought we were good with all the men's leagues. I didn't think there was an issue, so I'm gonna have Rachel contact them because I had no idea that was going on. Well, it's not even a matter of the men having a problem with it. All mm -hmm. the people she may be dealing with may not have a problem. They mm -hmm. may pay it. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. A lot of things that I'm hearing, it's like, well, if we don't pay her, then we're going to pay $100 at Durfee. So that meeting that we had a couple of months yeah. ago, what, nothing came out. Everyone was all kosher. <laughs> everyone was fine. So what had happened between well, then well, and we'll now? Right no, now no what see. happened was uh, there was a, a, one person I don't <coughs> who said, that was a meeting in my office. Yeah, I know, but we don't, board. I don't. Yeah, I don't. If we can have, have a conversation. Have to, okay. We can have another discussion. Okay. Another That's fine. And that I, what like I do want to do is have another meeting like that. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you. I, I agree. I think that's a very good idea. 
Commissioner, you want to make a motion to unlock it? Yeah, I'd like to make a motion to unlock them, take them blocks off. Yeah, I agree. Well, that's the board's decision. Second. <coughs> we have a motion and second. It can be an experiment. I yep. mean, if it's something that happens, it Well, is. we have a bill. If, it, if someone gets hurt jumping the fence or doing anything, we're liable for that, too. So we have a motion and a second. All in favor? I just I as a citizen I just have I, I know that a lot of um, homeless people go into that park so is that a concern now that we're letting the locks off I think that's just a little bit of a concern in there anyway we yeah, have ten thousand dollars what's gonna happen is someone's gonna get hurt and then they're gonna be okay as Commissioner Sylvia where they, said, where would they, why would they go within there I'm just saying I've I've seen plenty of homeless people <coughs> around that park. I think so they now go to the back. Oh, okay. The rail trail. Yeah. The rail trail. Oh, they go trail. behind the. Okay. Yeah. I'm if just. They wanted to get in. They would climb. The it was just a thought. Because there's yeah. no yeah. shelter there. That that soccer yeah. field is very yeah. windy, very open. There's no shelter there. So I think if they're looking, they would go to hunker yeah. down for okay. the night. I think yeah. they're gonna go. We used to have a problem in the back there. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. so you drink. <laughs> okay. So we have a motion and seconded to. Unlock Britland Park. All in favor? Are we doing this as a pilot program? Or we well, we're going to just do it. We'll deal with it. What happens afterwards? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Could I have my motion in second person? So oh, okay. Joe, and, Joe <coughs> and Helen. Okay. Okay. And the other thing that I, I would like the board, I'll be sent to know that I'm going to send out an email to the leagues mm -hmm. because this is the first half of your schedule. Now, mm -hmm. do you have a break? Um, do you guys have a break, like a June break or July? Break? Yeah, we usually start back up in August, August 16th, like that okay. week. So, so, right, so this is what I'm saying. Even right now, you guys are going to end the end of June, right? Mm -hmm. And no one's going to play July because many mm -hmm. of the men's leagues don't play July. And half of the time, mm -hmm. you're not going to go back to, we'll say, mid August. Yeah. So, if those yeah. gates were locked, Right now, they would remain locked yeah. all of July mm -hmm. and half of saying. August mm -hmm. when people in the city mm -hmm. could use it. Is it going to be a good thing? I don't know if it's going to be a good mm -hmm. thing, but you know what? Tax dollars pay for, no, for those things. And if, it, and if it's something that gets destroyed, then we're going to have to revisit it again. I don't know. But um, what I would like, and I'm going to send out an email, is everyone's second half of this schedule mm -hmm. and please be very specific you know tell Rachel mm -hmm. I mean I don't know why the other gentlemen were I know some um, I think the Thursday night group had some family graduating or something they yeah sent me an email all right so um, then you can get the the second the so we can get mm -hmm. the second Jones. half of the schedule mm -hmm. let's stick to the agenda here that yeah, she said the second half of the yeah. schedule. And already. I'm going to get them from all the other Right. Mm -hmm. And then the, the Porta John, they pay, as you said, so they pay for the Porta John as well. They help. Yeah, they help so. with the dumping. Okay. We have a lock for that as well. So. Okay. Okay so, okay, so do you have a specific line item accounts that if these people wanted to see what went in and what went out, out of that Porta John account that we wouldn't run into a, a problem? Or is it just going into your general fund and you're writing I, a check from it? Off of the top of my head, I don't know. I haven't specifically looked like line items on our. I can get. I'm sure Rachel can get that for you. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't so remember. Just on Rachel's, because it's really not fair to, to ask. Yeah, her. I'll ask Rachel. Then. Why don't you ask? Send a um, an email, an email mm -hmm. and that way we can get because. You know, clearly, like she said, ask Rachel, ask Rachel. I don't want to keep it here for another Yeah, she's hours. the one that deals she with all that. that. I just right. came here. She didn't, I didn't think that there was going to be specific. I thought it was just, you know, a generalized well, thing. Well, so. to get the second half right. of the yeah. schedule so we can address it and how we're going to address it. I think we should be finalized issues. with that in the next couple of weeks. So that okay. that can be sent out to you guys. Great. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay, request for BCC soccer, use of Britland soccer field. Question. Okay. Why did not Rachel come she tonight? Said she had, she said she had something to do with her daughter. Go ahead, Commissioner Sylvia. Regarding uh, the schedule. Is it Sylvia or Sylvia? It says on the schedule, yep. men's and women's own soccer schedule. With one time, 3.30. They started 3.30 one game, then they play another game. Are you looking at BCC? BCC? Yeah. 
Where's this uh, now? Okay, here it is, Joe. I think so. Is this the schedule right here? Yes. Yeah. I guess my yeah. question is, are the women and men going the same days? No. You can see here, wherever it says, like, um, um, I, I would think you know, they're both saying the same time, you're right. So, unless one is away, but he's given me all the schedule, I'll have to ask him to specify and cl clarify his schedule. Being involved with sports, I know that those schedules are sometimes time sensitive because of leave and travel at, at that level of college. And, Right, and let, the, and let the board know that this is another league that leads into Brooklyn Park in the yeah. fall. Did, did, did the elect director there give you a, say, we need to know by a certain date? Uh, no, the he just asked board. if it was on this board meeting. I'll make a motion to table so I have further information. Okay, there's First been a motion. September, so. Yeah, we have a motion to table. Second. Sylvia. Yep, and seconded by to, uh, Commissioner Tavares. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Again, be uh, tabled. Again, so the board knows, I received an email from Durfee asking when they could send their schedule. It said you could send it any time. I have not heard back from them. However, on another note, the porta potty that Durfee put at the bottom of North Park in March, because they thought the baseball team was going to play there, and never played there. We need so to uh, save there. that for department updates. It's not on the agenda. Okay, okay. sorry. That's okay. Some balls on my head. I know, but you know. Attention, Nancy. We've got a. You don't know. Ahead. Sorry. Uh, Jeff, it's on, uh, uh, Commissioner Silva, I just wanted you to know. Sorry. Now we've got to watch Nancy. Okay. Small <laughs> <laughs> on soccer schedules. Uh, I have another question. For who? Regarding uh, Norm Easter. Yeah. Okay. So the question Thursday night. No, that's they yeah. have that. Those are those are the that? schedules that are at. These are active. These schedules. are the first half schedules for Brittle okay. Park. What you okay. have that little package. Okay. All right. So just let us know. One, this package. That's separate. New, it's only this pack. Yeah. Right. Okay. That you was to discuss with the that packet in your hand was if all the other soccer leagues came in. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Everybody all set? Okay. But only uh, one game. Let's see. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Kennedy Park. Oh. Kennedy Park Drive reopened changes after the CSO project, South Main Street, Middle Street. As you remember, we voted and seconded yeah. to have it parked on one side because when the CSO is finished, it's going to be going a different way. So we're being proactive instead of reacting, and it is dangerous um, that we've seen. So. Um, Nancy, what's the status of this? Uh, well, I had spoken to uh, Laura Ferreira, and you have an email in your packet um, if I had, if she had heard anything more. Mm -hmm. um, she said the only thing I can think of is to have the park board send a letter to traffic, and we will discuss it and put it and put up the signs. It does have to go. Uh, it does not have to go into ordinance because it is not city property, it's park property. Right. That's why we voted on it and we don't need to send it to right. traffic. I because guess we basically just need to, if we want their men to put it up, ask for that. But okay, well, I would ask if we could send a letter and just have them, um, we don't, I'm a little confused because you don't need... Um, well, they have the supplies. I think that's what it is. She would have the post. How come this wasn't such a big deal before where we could have them just do it? I don't know. I'm being asked to now go for a board. Again, like you said, nobody, nobody's going to, we have to go all the way around because people are afraid to do what we. I, I know, I know what, the, what we did as a board. We got in parking over there. But uh, just to refresh my memory, wasn't so, the original CSO plans to have angle of parking? That's right. On Middle Street. Middle Street. On Middle Street, not in the park park. Right. Not on South Main. No, but when you go around okay. the corner, they're going to be parked yeah. this way. Oh, yeah. So we decide. Yes. Right, you're right, Commissioner. We so we, just, we said the furthest out the car yeah. road would be the better. Yeah, I just want to know. All right. Well, can you just send a letter to traffic asking when they could when, when we yes, could? Yes. If she needs to put it before the board, she can put it before the board. If not, she can give me motion to send that letter. Yeah. yeah. Thank Second. you. Motion's been made to send the letter to traffic to find out the status of the signs. 
and been seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? And if available, you would like them up as soon as possible? As soon as possible, yeah, so because... Yeah, I just needed 26. I needed the last one. But it's not, see, this is where they say it doesn't have to go to traffic because of the fact that it's not a city street. So. Right, I don't know. It's yeah. a traffic sign. Yeah, so when, you, so when someone puts up a traffic sign, no, they don't only do that so they don't get in trouble. Oh, that's yeah. what that is. Um, Maybe we can get the movie, movie Night Lafayette Park CDA sponsored. It was tabled for. We did a motion to lift it off the table. Motion made. Motion has been made to lift it off the table and second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. So, yeah. now Joe second and Commissioner Tavares first. Oh, that's getting fast. I know, he is getting fast. Motion? <laughs> Do I get a slide? So, <laughs> yes. Okay, yep. Wasn't one of the questions uh, when this was tabled was... Was the liability? Was tabled because of the liability, but and, we were found out and that. What movie oh, I, got, she, she, I think I wrote it. Uh, I can't recall. We have the um, Nanny McPhee. Nanny, yeah, yeah Nanny McPhee is going to be the movie, and we were. It was tabled for the um, liability. liability. Thank you, Nancy. But now he's going to watch me. Neon is sponsoring the thing, so he's a city. We don't require liability from city so, organization. Motion to motion to grant motion. permission. Second. Okay. <coughs> Commissioner Sylvia and uh, Commissioner Schoenberg. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Update on changes of Ruggles and Kelly Park project. Motion to table. Motion to table has been, um, but can I just speak on this? Yeah. Okay, so I did go to Ruggles Park to see the um, area, and they did do a change order um, to eliminate the mesh, but what they didn't do was submit it from a structural engineer. So we didn't approve that because we wanted information. I asked for information for the board, and I haven't received it. Now, whether they sent it before this meeting, I don't know, or today, but I haven't received it. Um, and when we were going there, when we went there, um, there was a crack in the uh, walk. So, I don't know, Nancy, has it been replaced? I haven't been by the, I, I was told by Mr. Gallagher that it had, it had been, um, I think, well, can we find out if it's been replaced because it is a new sidewalk and it shouldn't be band-aid. Is we that my street side? That is local, local, local street side. side. So if we can find that out, that'd be greatly appreciated. And now you want to table it, that's fine. Yes. I just wanted to bring this up to date. So Commissioner um, Sylvia, I table, and you want to table? Tavares. Tavares, okay. See, uh, Jeff, now somebody's going to watch me. I've got my eye on. Okay. <laughs> and Joe. You're good. I'm your bad eye. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. So just so the board knows, it looks like uh, one hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars of that project has been paid out. The bubbles? Yes. And it's nice tabled. Job too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully it doesn't crack again. Okay, so the next one is Fonts at the School, North Quarry Street, Ball Field Maintenance, School Department Property. So what happened was, Nancy, would you like to give us an update, but very short and simple, because what happened was, I received a phone call from School Maintenance stating that the field, uh, the playing field there needed to be cut because the school was having a field day, and I let them know that how that usually works is, you know, we go around and prioritize uh, the, where events are and we go back. However, um, I got an email from the principal who said... Is it in here? Yes, it is. Okay. It's attached in the package. So if you can package. look at the email that she sent Nancy, I would appreciate it. Package. Second package. For a second. It's a separate. 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 I got the separate. Staying that the grass was high and need, someone needed to get there because they were having an event on the 7th, or well, they called me on the 5th or 3rd. So they called you on the 3rd for an event on the 7th? Correct. Okay. So I found it odd that with the school being redone, 
and the fact that the field had been redone, it would occur to me that school department money was used to redo that field. And those things are put into state grants where you get back 70% of your money and that should not be park property. So I went to the assessor's office. But I did ask. Yes, I went to the assessor's office and looked it up. And you have in your package the assessor's plot, their readout, it's in that same separate thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it says let's see how long. Um, that comments former uh, Ralph M. Small, aka School, Mary Alfonso Fonska Elementary School, also baseball field. And you have a map that shows the boundaries of the school property, which the baseball field falls within the confines of. So I think the park department's been cutting school, school field. So I think you can give it back now. Okay. Is there a motion to give it the school property back to themselves to take care of? Motion. Okay. Second. Second. Okay, all in favor? Cut right. back right. in the school department, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Well, it made it made no sense because they cut the entire school area around it, and then would say the ball field needs cutting. I mean, the tractors are all there. It's everything's even, there. It's not even. I, I, I'll bet you in 15 minutes, it's a little league field. You could cut the rest of it. So. Okay, I, so I understand at one point, yeah. years ago, you know, I'm talking right. years ago, yeah. that Columbus Little League or Columbus And Columbus uses that, and let me, they're going to have to go through the they school. Used to use, yeah, they, they use that, oh. okay? Yeah. And they've used it for years, and for like 40 too. years. Well, I, you know, my question is, are they still using it? You just handle that. I think they use it for sometimes in the tryouts or whatever, but for the most part, the league has significantly declined. Plays on point the, on they the play at Columbus for the But it is school property, so there's no reason for the, yes. the park department to be cutting yeah, it. Yeah, I have no problem making that motion. Okay, very good. Well, Thank well, you. Permission it out. So it's really not ours to, to permit out at this no. point if it's school department no. property. Okay. So the school department will probably be charging them for it. So I would we'd need a motion um, to send the school department a letter. Motion. I would send them the letter with the documentation saying this appears yes. to be school department property. Yep. So I don't okay. think we'll have any union issues if your school personnel cut school department property. Right. Okay. So there's a motion from Commissioner Silva. Second. Sylvia and second by Commissioner Tavares. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Department updates. Anybody else? Shut me down so many times. Well, hey, I did we did. This is a record for me. Joe was really happy with me before. Um, Nancy, you want to go first? Uh, what was the update that I was saying that you said? What you were saying about that was very important. So uh, let's think about it. Yeah, <laughs> remember. Must, must have been something that me in trouble. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the old Is it? Um, I know two, oh, the two things I, I do know off the top of my head are that with the the sewer commission with the bathroom use at Bicentennial Park. Um, we only use those bathrooms for events for veterans. We'll open them up, we'll man them. Um, whenever we open them up, they, we found them to be dirty. I contacted Mr. Ferrellin at the um, sewer commission. Um, we used to put pine oil and all that down there. Did a recent email I got, it was like, can, can you stock the paper towels down there? I was like, I'm going to stock the paper towels down at the sewer commission that the, the sewer commission people use. Why don't I come here and stock city hall's toilets, paper too? I don't get it. So my my thing is, they said they clean it. Well, if I showed you the pictures, the boot prints are all across the thing. I think they stick them up in the corner in a bucket, and there's no cleaning going on. The walls have got soap dripping down them and so you know i've tried to be as calm as possible but i think we need to say this is the size paper towels that go in the dispensers order them i am not there every day then guys are there all the time is he going to order them for kennedy park garage 
it, it, okay, so so my point is, yeah. you may get some flack because I don't think it's right that we order the paper towels, except for when we open it up for events and we stock okay. it. Yeah. That was easy. Okay, so okay. And number two, I think that the board should look at Middle Street because I'm the more that goes in there, I'm growing very concerned. I was um, informed. I asked someone about that. I think that's ours. It is ours. It's ours. It is ours. We've always cut it. Yeah. But I want you to look at the plantings that are going it. in there, <coughs> and I don't know how we're going to cut it. They put in mold. There's in big plants, and there's small plants. There's. It's going to be like a jungle. Plants? You need to look at what kind of plants they're putting in there. Now, trees. what I, what I was told trees. was yeah, they're not trees. Well, they look like trees. Too. They're not. They're going to grow to big, big bushy bushes. No, they're not. Big, trees. big bushy bushes. Okay, all right, very good. Chris, do you need to come down with any nothing? Okay, very good. Anything that the commissioners want to talk about? Or? Yeah, I would like to talk about. Uh, before you start one, I just want to ask Nancy, where am I middle? Right at the where? middle and the uh, when you come when when you're coming down the middle street side, they plant they started on the corner. I'm like, all right, maybe it's only gonna be the corner. Yeah, oh. Now they're working their way all the way up. What was you what was from once Broadway, an, up down here. From, what was once an from island right. of grass from the little league right. down is now becoming <laughs> plantings. And all I can equate it to, I'll be honest with you, when the Brightman Street Bridge was done. They had beautiful plants all along the side. They had mulch. They had whatever. You go, oh, this is going to be beautiful. And now no one goes in there anymore, and everything is all overgrown. And I am the last person that wants to get the flat for that not being cut. There's, you can't mow it. They're gonna, even if they put mulch, there's a big drain. So I think, I don't know how we're going to make it. Well, maybe you can find out for us. I'm going to have to see. Okay, you sent them in. My understanding was that they needed those kind of plants. Because they were going to absorb the water. Okay. Yeah, you find out, Nancy. You let us know. Commissioners, have any inquiries? Just shut me down. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. That's your problem. Did we ever send a letter? Yes. To, uh, to the gentleman on Chicago Street, giving him ten days to remove the chess table. <laughs> no. We, I thought we agreed that we were going to send, give him ten days, and if he didn't remove it, we were going to remove it. No, that 10 days was North Park to remove the yeah. batting cage. Well, can we act can we, can we send that? Why do we have him remove the chest table? Chest table? Because he put it in the wrong place. I know, but I think that we all determined that it would be more of a disaster for him to take it out yeah. than for, for to leave it there until it was to a point where we could say, this is not pretty, we need to take it out, but I don't think the motion was made to take it out. I think the board determined that it was best just to leave it be. Yeah, no, we didn't. So we didn't, I, well, I did make not. a motion to take it out? Wait, wait, we can't do a motion. That's going to be on the agenda. So if you want that, uh, that particular thing on the agenda, then we'll have to put it on the agenda. Okay. Okay? Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye.